All right, thanks for joining us. Michael, KC9PHK, here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club, presenting the 2020 to 2024 extra class question exam pool. This video covers sub-element E6, covering circuit components. Six exam questions come from the six groups in this sub-element. E6A, semiconductor materials and devices, semiconductor materials, geranium, silicon, p-type, n-type, transistor types, npn, pnp, junction, field effect transistors, enhancement mode, depletion mode, MOS, CMOS, n-channel, p-channel. First question, E6A01, in what application is gallium arsenide used as a semiconductor material? in microwave circuits. E6A02, in which of the following semiconductor materials contains excess free electrons? N type. E6A03, why does a PN junction diode not conduct electric current when reverse biased? Holes in P type material and electrons in the N type material are separated by applied voltage widening the depletion region. E6A04, what is the name given to an impurity atom that adds holes to a semiconductor crystal structure? Answer is acceptor impurity. E6A05, how does DC input impedance at the gate of a field effect transistor compare with the DC input impedance of a bipolar transistor? And FET has higher input impedance. E6A06, what is the beta of a bipolar junction transistor? The change in collector current with respect to the base current. E6A07, which of the following indicates that a silicon NPN junction transistor is biased on? Base to emitter voltage at approximately 0.6 to 0.7 volts. E6A08, what term indicates the frequency at which the grounded base current gain of a transistor has decreased to 0.7 of the gain obtainable at 1 kilohertz. Answer is alpha cutoff frequency. E6A09, what is the depletion mode FET? Answer is an FET that exhibits a current flow between the source and drain when no gate voltage is applied. E6A10 in figure E6-1, what is the schematic symbol for an N-channel dual gate MOSFET? Answer is 4. E6A11 in figure 6-1, what is the schematic symbol for a P-channel junction FET? Answer is 1. E6A12. Why do many MOSFET devices have internally connected Zener diodes on the gates? To reduce the chance of static damage to the gate. E6B covers diodes. E6B01, what is the most useful characteristic of a Zener diode? A constant voltage drop under conditions of varying current. E6B02, what is an important characteristic of a Schottky diode as compared to an ordinary silicon diode when used as a power supply rectifier. Less forward voltage drop. E6B03, what type of bias is required for an LDD to admit light? Forward bias. E6B04, what type of semiconductor device is designed for use as a voltage controlled capacitor? And that is a varactor diode. E6B05, what characteristic of a pin diode makes it useful as an RF switch? Low junction capacitance. E6B06, which of the following is a common use of a Schottky diode? Answer is as a VHF UHF mixer or detector. E6B07, what is the failure mechanism when a junction diode fails due to excessive current? That would be excessive junction temperature. E6B08, which of the following is a Schottky barrier diode? That's a metal semiconductor junction. E6B09, what is a common use for point contact diodes? 
as an RF detector. E6B10 in figure E6-2, what is the schematic symbol for a light emitting diode? Answer is 5. E6B11, what is used to control the attenuation of RF signals by a pin diode? Forward DC bias current. E6C covers digital ICs, families of digital ICs, gates, programmable logic devices. E6C01, what is the function of hysteresis in a comparator? To prevent input noises from causing unstable output signals. E6C02, what happens when the level of a compactor's input signal crosses the threshold? The comparator changes its output state. E6C03, what is tri-state logic? That answer is logic devices of 0, 1, and high impedance output states. E6C04, which of the following is an advantage of by CMOS logic? Answer is, it has high input impedance of CMOS and the low output impedance of bipolar transistors. E6C05, what is the advantage of CMOS logic devices over TTL devices? Lower power consumption. E6C06, why do CMOS digital integrated circuits have high immunity to noise on the input signal or power supply? Answer is the input switching threshold is about one half the power supply voltage. E6C07, what best describes a pull up or pull down resistor? A resistor connected to positive or negative supply line used to establish a voltage when an input or output is an open circuit. E6C08 in figure E6-3, what is the schematic symbol for an NAND gate? Answer is number 2. E6C09, what is a programmable logic device, abbreviated PLD? A programmable collection of logic gates and circuits in a single integrated circuit. E6C10 in figure E6-3, what is the schematic symbol for a NOR gate? And that is number 4. E6C11 in figure E6-3, what is the schematic symbol for the NOT operation inverter? That is number 5. E6D, toroidal and solenoidal inductors, permeability, core material, selecting, winding, transformers, piezoelectric devices. E6D01, why should core saturation of an impedance matching transformer be avoided? Answer is harmonics and distortion could result. E6D02, what is the equivalent circuit of a quartz crystal? Answer is motional capacitance, motional inductance, and loss resistance in series all in parallel with a shunt capacitor representing electrode and stray capacitance. E6D03, which of the following is an aspect of the piezoelectric effect? Mechanical deformation of material by the application of a voltage. E6D04, what materials are commonly used as a core in an inductor? Ferrite and brass. E6D05, which is one reason for using ferrite cores rather than powdered iron in an inductor? Ferrite toroids generally require fewer turns to produce a given inductance value. E E6D06, what core material property determines the inductance of an inductor? Permeability. E6D07, what is the current in the primary windings of a transformer called if no load is attached to the secondary? Magnetizing current. E6D08, what is one reason for using powdered iron cores rather than ferrite cores in an inductor? Powdered iron cores generally maintain their characteristics at higher currents. D or E6D09, what devices are commonly used as VHF and UHF parasitic compressors? Suppressors at the input and output terminals of a transistor HF amplifier. Ferrite beads. E6D10, well, it is the primary advantage of using toroidal core instead of solenoidal core in an inductor. 
toroidal cores can find most of the magnetic field within the core material. E6D11, which type of core material decreases inductance when inserted into the coil? Brass. E6D12, what is inductor saturation? The ability of the inductor's core to store magnetic energy has been exceeded. E6D13, what is the primary cause of inductor self-resonance? That would be interturn capacitance. E6E, covering analog ICs, MMICs, IC packaging characteristics. E6E01, why is gallium arsenide useful as semiconductor devices operating at UHF and higher frequencies? And that's because of higher electron mobility. E6E02, which of the long devices, packages, is a through-hole type? And that's DIP, D-I-P. E6E03, E03, which of the following materials is likely to provide the highest frequency of operation when used in MMICs? That's gallium nitride. E6E04, which, are the col which is the most common input and output impedance of circuits that use MMICs? Answer is 50 ohms. E6E05, which of the following noise figure values is typical of low noise UHF preamplifier? It's 2 dB. E6E06, which characteristics of the MMIC make it a popular choice for VHF through microwave circuits? Controlled gain, low noise figure, and constant input and output impedance over the specified frequency range. E6E07, what type of transmission line is used for connections to MMICs? Microstrip. E6E08, how is the power supplied to the most common type of MMIC? Through a resistor or RF choke connected to the amplifier output lead. E6E09, which of the following components package types would be suitable for use at frequencies above the HF range? That answer is surface mount. E6E10, what advantage does surface mount technology offer at RF compared through using through-hole components? All of these choices are correct. So smaller circuit area, shorter circuit board traces, components have less parasitic inductance and capacitance. E6, E11, what is a characteristic of DIP packaging used in integrated circuits? And that would be a total of two rows of connecting pins placed on opposite sides of the package, dual in line package. E6, E12, why are dip through hole package ICs not typically used at a UHF and higher frequencies. Excessive lead length. E6F covers electro-optical technology, photoconductivity, photovoltaic devices, optical sensors and encoders, and optical isolation. E6F01, what absorbs the energy from light falling on a photovoltaic cell? That's electrons. E6F02, what happens to the conductivity of a photoconductive material when light shines on it? It increases. E6F03, what is the most common configuration of an opti isolator or optocoupler? An LED and a phototransistor. E6F04, what is the photovoltaic effect? And that's the conversion of light to electrical energy. E6F05, what describes an optical shaft encoder? A device that detects rotation of a control by interrupting a light source with a patterned wheel. E6F06, which of these materials most commonly used to create photoconductive devices? That's a crystalline semiconductor. E6F07, what is a solid state relay? That is a device that uses semiconductors to implement the functions of a electromechanical relay. E6F08, why are opti-isolators often used in conjunction with solid-state circuits when operating 120 volt AC? Opti-isolators, or opto-isolators, provide a very high degree of electrical isolation between a control circuit and circuit being switched. E6F09, what is the efficiency of a photovoltaic cell? The relative fraction of light that is converted to current. 
E6F10, what is the most common type of photovoltaic cell used for electrical power generation? And that's silicon. E6F11, what is the approximate open circuit voltage produced by a fully illuminated silicon photovoltaic cell? And that's 0 0.5 volts. And that concludes the questions in subelement E6. So continue to follow us as we release the additional videos in the extra class question pool.